Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope your weekend has done very well. I hope you've had a fantastic just break. I mean, to me, I think this week has gone quite slow. I think it's been very stressful, especially with work, with the, the amount of work you've got to do at this place that I'm at. It's, it can be quite overwhelming. But before we do get into today's video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers. And like I say, in every video, there will be a giveaway once we once we get there. So all you've got to do is just like the video. The more likes we get, the more of a chance you will be uh, entered in the giveaway. And as well, before we do continue, there's been a couple of people as well who have said that they want to be able to donate or like support the channel. So they suggested that I should create a membership. So uh, in the description below, there is a membership uh, dis uh, link. So if you do want to join uh, join the the the, the uh, the membership then you have to do it but it's it's there if you if you want to be able to support the channel so the link is in the description if you if you do so let's get into the new series that i'm going to be bringing out onto this channel and it's going to be every sunday it's going to be news from saturday to saturday and it's just going to be what you have missed uh, throughout throughout the week so let's get into it <music> So at the start of the week, we saw a couple of uh, departures from Leeds United of Brendan Harrison and Diego Lorente. First of all, it was a bit of a confusing situation with Diego Lorente because he was supposed to go out um, to uh, Rome on a loan to buy obligation, but now all of a sudden they've opted out on that um, on that decision to just do a, a, a season loan deal. So Diego Lorente has gone out on a departure but on a season loan and it's the same with Brendan Harrison. He's gone to Union Berlin to the Bundesliga on another season loan too. Next, the Legion United kit was obviously announced. A new uh, Legion United kit of 2023 to 2024 season was, was announced and with the, the, the kit for this season going into the championship season, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Like with the with the um, the royal blue strip and the, the, the yellow and white strip on the shoulder going down the arm, it was just amazing. And as well with the peacock peacock em, em, embraced into the embraced into into the kit, it just looks absolutely phenomenal. So check it out yourself. I mean, it is on sale now for about sixty five pound or a little bit less than that. But overall, I'm definitely, definitely getting this kit. There was also claims that Patrick Bamford, Junior Firpo, Max Berber and Pascal Stroik all was linked away from the club. Junior Firpo was linked away to Galatasaray, which to me, I don't really see it more of a, like a realistic buy for or a move for uh, Junior Firpo due to the fact that Galatasaray had already bought a first team left back. So I can't see Junior Firpo wanting to uh, sit on the bench. Uh, for that one. Patrick Bamford, apparently there is suitors across the couple of uh, suitors in the Premier League and a couple of suitors across Europe looking to buy his signature and according to reports Pascal Stroik and Max Verber has come out and said that they want to move away from the club too. Whether that's just agent talk because of Leeds selling loads of players on loan or if Pascal Stroik and Max Verber actually want to move away. In other news, Rasmus Christensen has now finalised a deal to go out on loan to Roma for another season loan. I mean, it was a bit weird to see him in training. I know he came back the day before that he, he announced or Leeds United announced the, 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 the departure of Rasmus Christensen to Roma. But to me, I think it was a good move. I mean, he didn't really come over to England. He was pretty much a... A replacement for Luke Ayling, or apparently a step up to Luke Ayling, but to me, I don't really think it worked out. He did okay in centre back when he was playing there towards the end of the season, but overall, I think the move for him didn't really work out to 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 both parties. So it's going to be an interesting one to see whether Rasmus Christensen stays at Leeds United or whether when Leeds United get back into the Premier League, they decide to sell him on in the near future. There is still no news of the EFL accepting Leeds United's bid to fully take over from the 49ers, but in other news, Jordan Spieth. A, a, an American golfer actually came out and invested in into the team. There was also another report of a basketball player who's worth over three hundred million dollars, who's also interested in the investment of Leeds United. So they both pretty much came out and said that the investment for Leeds United is a very good one, with especially with the price that uh, the the forty nine has got for the club. But the, in the the pretty much need Leeds United to succeed to be able to. Um, make any profits back it's pretty much like investing in the stock market you like if you invest in amazon you want to put your money into amazon their stock grows obviously you get your money back and this is exactly how the investment works when it comes to the 49 uh, 49ers there's also some bad news in the last couple of days rodrigo had left Leeds united for around about three million pounds when a qatari side al ryan 
uh, triggered through the, his release cost of three million pounds. So it's going to be a, a a monumental loss in my opinion with his uh, his goal contributions. I know it took a lot of work to get into his best ability, but obviously I wish him the best. So Rodrigo's move away from Leeds United has now been confirmed. It's been a very worrying and frustrating week for Leeds United fans, including myself, because obviously we're all wanting uh, players to come through the door, but unfortunately it's looking more and more unlikely that Leeds United will be bringing anyone in the next couple of days. Hopefully the EFL or even Leeds United will bring in some sort of players, but one player who has been linked is obviously the goalkeeper from Bayern Munich, Nubel. I don't really know too much about him, but all I know is that he had a season-long loan at Monaco. So I guess I'll have to watch that space. I know Cal Barro is still in the picture, and I personally would like him to, to come for the club. So goalkeeper from uh, uh, from Bayern Munich has also been linked to this. End it off, to end the video, Pablo Hernandez has now officially came out and retired from football. It's going to be sad to see him because he was pretty much a Leeds United legend. 150 appearances for the club, 41 assists and 36 goals. So he's just had a fantastic career. I mean, he's played for Swansea, he's played for Valencia, he's played for a team in Qatar. So I just obviously want to wish him the best for his retirement. But yeah, hey guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this type of video. I'm going to try bring it out every single Sunday, I do believe. It's just pretty much me going uh, and giving you every single bit of information, every single rumor, every single departure in just one simple video in under 10 minutes. So I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.